guys, it's Kev. So a few weeks ago I did a video on the XP Deus version 4 hot program. Just did a demonstration showing what different targets looked like uh, and what they sounded like on, on that program. So I've been asked to do an updated version of that video but on the version 4 deep program. So we're going to do that now. Uh, it's quite a sensitive program. I'm getting too much EMI to do it inside the house. So we're going to go out to my garage and I'll show you what that one looks like. Okay guys, so welcome to my garage. So uh, the things that we see on the screen on the deep program, you'll see in the, the corner up here, you'll see it's rotating through the battery life of the uh, remote and the battery life of the coil. And then back to the battery life of the remote. Uh, so what you're gonna also see, that's where your VDI is gonna come in, all right? So when you, when you introduce a target, that's where your VDI number is going to come up in that same corner. Um, the other corner, this side, will be your ground balance. Okay, we're not on the ground, uh, so we're not getting anything from there right now. Uh, and then, of course, right in the center there is your trace. It's going to dance around a little bit until you get a target over it. Then it's going to give you an indicator of what the target may be. Generally, it's going to come up in this from this corner to this corner if it's if it's a good target and if it's uh, junk iron it will go the other way from this diagonal to this diagonal and it'll also give you an indicator of how close or far the the item is from the coil so this uh, this coin this silver coin here see it's a small trace but when we get closer, the trace gets bigger. So we're right in the coil there, it's big. Bring it back. It's going to get smaller. Alright, same with your junk targets. That's, that's, uh, this, this iron is further away. When we get close, it's all over the place, just real big lines. Okay, that's how we interpret the uh, XY screen on this program. Guys, don't forget to subscribe for more Deus videos and then click the little bell icon, then you won't miss anything. Okay, so uh, just to, I, I want to give you a word of caution once again. With the XP Deus, it's very much a tone machine. All right, although I'm going to demonstrate what the trace does on this hot program, uh, just try to remember um, that's not always going to be accurate. Okay, it's just secondary. The, the primary indicator with the XP Deus is always going to be tones. And I would urge you to make your decisions based on what you hear rather than what you see. I'm going to try an experiment. I don't know if this is going to work or not. But I've got a, uh, an Indian head penny and uh, a square nail there in my hand. I just want to see what this does when I run it over the coil. See if it demonstrates the fact that you should be digging on tones rather than the visual indicator. See that? You can hear um, you can hear the high tone. I've got them both in my hand, both there. You can hear the high tone, but the trace is just really not reliable. That wouldn't tell you it's a, a, a coin on its own, although they're both there, the uh, the coin and the uh, the nail. If I drop the nail, see what it does to the trace. See? The trace is really nice when it's just a coin on its own. But when I added that nail to it, it really changed what it looks like. Although, um, you still had the coin there. So, dig on the tones. Uh, if you get suspicious tones, a little bit of iron. But you're still getting a repeatable uh, high tone. Still dig it and investigate it. Because otherwise you might start missing stuff. So, a uh, pretty important point with a dais. It's a tone machine. Alright guys, so we're going to start the test now. I'm going to use uh, just items that you're, you're uh, often going to find out when you're hunting. Just your typical kind of stuff. Uh, good good items and bad. So we're going to start with a US large scent, uh, 1856. It's about the size of a uh, British pre-decimal half penny for those in the UK. So keep an eye on the number here and the trace. 
So the closer we get to the coil, the larger the trace gets, and we get a 90, 95, 96 kind of number on that one. Then we're going to start with a uh, large silver coin. This is a Spanish two real. I'm moving further away again. Now we've got a really small silver coin. This is a US three cent, probably size of uh, a lot of the hammered coins you get in the UK. Got 8081. Uh, then we've got an Indian head penny, which is a copper coin US, that size of a uh, decimal 1p. In the low 80s. Because this is a uh, just a two tone program, you'll notice all these tones sound the same, apart from uh, your iron tone. So you've got a diggable tone and an iron tone. Next one we've got a uh, musket ball. So 81 read in there, you can see what the uh, trace is doing. Remember, the, the smaller the trace, generally the smaller the item or further away it is. So we've got a uh, colonial flat button, this is I think is a Tombak one. In the uh, 60s, 70s. And we've got a uh, military button, this is a uh, British regimental button, it's 89th Regiment, a foot officer's gilded button. Go see what that's doing, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and then you'll see uh, more XP Days videos. Uh, we got a lot of uh, lot of videos on there, and click the little bell icon when you go in there to subscribe, so you don't miss anything. All right, let's do a few junk uh, signals now, the kind of stuff that we don't want to be digging, but we uh, we're going to find. So this is a shotgun head stamp. So it's it's uh, very similar to a button type signal. So, you know, if, you, if you're looking for those uh, colonial buttons, you're probably going to find a lot of shotguns. And we've got a wadded up piece of foil. Again, unfortunately, this one's given a decent signal. And then we've got the bane of everybody's existence, the pull tab, or the ring pull if you're in the UK. Again, it's a nice signal, right? It's coming up in the 70s. Uh, then I'm going to uh, run a few a, fr a few pieces of iron over. We've got this tiny little uh, iron square nail. So you can hear the iron tone on this one. And what's the trace? It comes from the other way round. Um, then we've got a larger iron nail. Big square nail. And again, we've got the iron buzz with this one, so it's pretty obvious. And the trace really, really tells us what that one is. There we go, guys. That's everything. Hopefully that was of some use to you. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget, click the logo as it comes up on the screen to subscribe. Also, check your other videos as they come up on the screen. Anyway, till next time, happy hunting.